Yo, what up, YouTube? I'm sure a lot of you guys know that I don't just play one gotcha game. I play tons. So it's nice to be up to date on what's going on in the gotcha revenue chart, okay? And what I like to know is the games that I spend millions of dollars on are also making millions of dollars from other people. That way I know that they're gonna get development. We got a new one for March. And this one is probably pretty important. We're gonna go through every single gotcha game that I know, notice the territory, how much they're making, how much they've been making, and then project for the future for the games that I deem important. I'll be real, the first 50% of these, maybe one or two people watching this shit actually play. We'll talk about it, tell you if it's a dead game or not, and we'll move forward from there. Tax and Love Live are dead. Okay, they are dead, 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 dead. Pretty much anything down here is pretty much I'd say the first game that's probably still alive and kicking. I mean, I don't know how the f Alchemy Stars is still making 40 grand this month, but I mean, congratulations. But you got to understand, like, when an entire game is making less than, like, some singular employees and businesses, that's not, like, a good look. Like, you really start getting consistent when you start making at least, like, 200 grand a month because I'm not going to lie, bro. I mean, it's kind of up and i'll just say it that my ass alone is making more than this entire gotcha game okay it's just kind of insane right it, it is kind of insane how a whole company with multiple employees is making less than literally one guy which makes me think why am i not making a gotcha game why am i not why am i not making a gotcha game i feel like i can make one and I feel like I could make a really good one you know it's crazy I was going to make a gotcha game and then the guy that I was making it with got completely obliterated and canceled rightfully so uh so that never happened but man would that not be f cool anyways let's move forward here so hi you though i played that before i don't know how it got so it actually wasn't that bad when i played it tacto p is pretty much dead love live pretty much dead idly dead at least on the respective servers art gear gone 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 alchemy stars it's weird because i hear a lot of good things about it but it's not doing so hot hi you again doing okay uh, girls Frontline only making 70k in Japan is very shocking to me because I know it has a very cult-like following for Girls Frontline, but I can uh, assume that a lot of people are excited for Girls Frontline too. And I actually think the game is actually pretty good. Uh, Bang Dream Girls, I know Kenny Omega really likes that. I don't. Neurocloud was okay. Don Machi Skip. Uh, Girls Frontline and Global made 90k. Okay, so combined with the Global and uh, Japanese release, we're now making the 160,000, which is a lot healthier than I thought. Thank God. Black Clover Mobile fell off a cliff which is a shame because it was actually very good uh, echo apocalypse uh is doing not so good comparatively neural cloud another eden octopath traveler which i always think this is a nintendo switch title but i suppose it's not afk arena going from 170k to 150k still doing pretty good in just the jp department i know a lot of their funding is now going to afk journey which in my opinion is a objectively better game uh revy starlight oh man yango is gonna be very depressed about that uh alchemy stars dropping a little bit neurocloud dropping a little bit but still actually universally making at least 400 to 500 thousand dollars a month which is actually very good uh congrats they have multiple servers which is good which is why i feel like more games should have more servers on different regions i think it just makes sense because if you can just port the game to another server Minimal server costs. I feel like you can make a lot of money with minimal effort. So I think that's very good that they're doing that for uh, the, 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 games, the games that don't just say, oh, this is for China and China only. Uh, Girls Frontline China, $220,000. So I think the majority of audience where it's actually succeeding is in China. Makes sense. Tower of Fanny still making $200,000. I don't get that. I don't know who the f is still playing that. I don't know why the f they're still playing that. That game is complete dog shit. I've never played that game without bugging out, lagging out, falling through the ground. It's terrible. Guardian Tales absolutely shredding and good for them. Quarter million dollars on just China. Uh, this game is this game is underrated as f uh, I actually think Guardian Tales is very, very, very good. Like one of the better gacha games on the market. And uh, I just think that it doesn't have the fan service people are looking for. So it's dropping quite a bit. But the story is very good. And I feel like the gameplay is very good. And I feel like the 8-bit design is also very nice as well. One Punch Man World dropping 1 million less in profit in one month. I don't know what the f*** happened to lose a million in a month. But good God. Good God. That shit is insane. I mean, that, that shit's falling off more than people who call out a marriage they have no context over and get their channels obliterated. I mean, this shit fell off hard is actually insane princess connect redive uh very good actually i heard this game was also quite good snowbreak containment zone still actually keeping its head above water 
on just global. I really feel like I, I really feel like I want to try this game. I really do. It's a shame. I wanted to try it previously, but getting the servers to launch it just did not work for me. I'm wondering if they actually got a client that actually works. It's so bad. It's mid as they're going fan service. They're also having a collab. I like it. It's ass. It's good. Snowbreak is okay now. Princess Connect, end of service, global servers. There's only China. Interesting. Punishing Gray Raven actually doing a lot better than I thought it was. Uh, $300,000 remaining actually on the upward trend, probably with the hype of Wuthering Waves. We're probably trying to go in to practice Punishing Gray Raven to uh, excel when Wuthering Waves comes out, uh, which I fully support. I think Kuro Games makes amazing games. Uh, Aether Gazer, which I've heard incredible things about. Uh, I also want to try that shit out. Yeah, I want to try Aether Gazer, and I want to try Snow Breakout. Guardian Tales actually killing it in Japan, doubling their revenue very good. Counterside, I have not heard of this one. Outer Plane, another Eden, I think I've heard a little bit of, but I'm not too familiar with. Captain Tsubasa, no idea. Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, I don't really care. Noble Suit Gundam, I don't really care. Eversoul, I played for a little bit, it was pretty fun. Guardian Tales, two and a half Xing their global revenue, good for them. Good for them, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, no idea. Puzzle and Dragon Family K. Bang Dream Girls Band Party. God, that sounds like a f great time. Ensemble Stars at 550,000. Reverse 1999. Actually, still going up. I don't know who the f is still playing this. Genuinely, 600,000 for Reverse 1999. Reverse 1999. This game has 70 viewers. I don't get this. I don't get this at all, bro. Actually, insane to me. Reverse 1999 was kind of heat, bro. The VAing was so bad. I don't know, man. I. I really don't like those games. Where it's like, oh, match the cards, match the cards. Oh, it's so boring. Maybe it's for you. It's just not for me. I, I can't tell you what to like. I can only tell you what I like. I don't. I, I don't like this shit at all. Devil May Cry peak of combat dropping to six hundred thousand, but still doing quite well. Go for Devil May Cry. Uh, I get a little bit nervous playing games where it's heavily reliant on an IP. I'm not really a fan of the Devil May Cry IP. You know, I mean, I like I Am the Storm who that is approaching. I like Virgil, but other than that, I don't really care about it. Idle Pride, who cares? Final Fantasy, uh, no idea. Tower of Fantasy, 700 grand on mobile servers. What the f***? This has to be one dude whose life is miserable, so he just spends all of his money on Tower of Fantasy. There's just no shot. Yeah, it's got to be Tony Two-Face, man. Like, one oiler. There's no way. Grand Summoner's no idea. Dolphin Wave. Yeah, my face when I started a gotcha game. Uh, Aster Tatarkis. No idea. Reverse 99 with another 800 grand on global. Brown Dust 2. I've seen some screenshots of this game, and that makes me want to play this game so bad. Like, I'm thinking I need to play some Brown Dust 2, because this game looks fire. So that's another game I want to try on, uh, on, on stream as well, Brown Dust 2. It's actually good. Gameplay sucks. Yeah, I'm not playing that shit for the gameplay. That's like saying I'm going to Nikkei for the gameplay, bro. You must be trolling. I'm going one-handed mode, bro. Snowbreak Containment Zone. Actually killing it in China. $800,000. Good for them, man. Yeah, good for them. Aether Gazer still doing great, but dropping off. Girls Frontline 2 is already out in China? Why don't they just release this shit at the same time, bro? Also, Limbus Company. No idea what this is. Bro, why don't they just do a global release? It's dead. Like, bro, why do games do that? No game that has released in China first and then gone to release in global later has ever broken mainstream. I, I really don't get what they I mean, companies need to know you need to re release on all servers at the same time. PGR breaking insane numbers for a game that is so obscure and good for them more funding on pgr equals more funding for weathering waves dislight actually still killing it echo pop up go pop is doing pretty good what was it gun about a traveler battle cats what the f is battle cats playing battle cats hey guys welcome to a special episode of battle cats where today we are going to be opening all of these okay the battle cats gameplay what is this? Guys, we will be playing the Battle Cats. Yeah, this this will be this will be killing Genshin 100. Another Eden, heard of it? Hatsune Miku, uh, good for them. Love Miku. Grand Summoners seems pretty good. Honkai Impact Third, jumping from 300k to 1 million. 
Okay, guys, who did they put in the bunny suit? And is the way okay? Oh, uh, this part two, huh? I'm gonna doom post a little bit, and people aren't gonna be happy with me saying this. I'm gonna doom post. I have only heard negative things, and I'm gonna be real, releasing a part two of your game and only tripling your revenue, it's not good enough. I believe that Honkai Impact 3rd can do much better than it is, and I think it needed to do better than that, personally. I have only heard bad things, and that makes me very sad, and I'm hoping to be wrong, and if somebody wants to tell me why I'm wrong, I would love for them to come and explain to me why it is so good. Maybe I should go give it a shot myself. Is there a PC client for part two? Yes. Okay, let's just open up a new notepad. The Battle Cats. Next up, Honkai Impact third. Next up, Brown Dust two. Aether Gazer. What else? Gotcha games list. Limbus Company, I can write it down. I feel like eventually I need to try Fate Grand Order. Snowbreak. Blue Archive. Hey, right, dude, I'll keep it a buck, man. There's some characters in Blue Archive that are so fine. And then I look at these characters and look, oh, bro, they're 16. Bitch, if they're 16, I'm 16. There's no shot, okay? You you don't find Triple J Mega Milkers on a character that young in real life. You just don't. Okay, that's an anime character. Okay, it's mad different. Am, am I crazy here? You smell me? Like, these people are insane. These developers are just trolling. Okay, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what 16-year-olds these developers are looking at. They don't look like that shit, bro. Okay, these people are nuts. This character's at least 30. Are you kidding me? This bitch at least 30. There's just no shot. And I ain't gonna let these mother tell me this character's eight. This bitch is 30. These people are insane. Blue Archive, Q. Epic 7, Q. I will lose my life if I play that game. Do not let me play Epic 7. I will spend billions, if not millions of dollars. Do not let me play E7. Uh, One Piece Treasure Cruise, maybe. Bang Dream Girl, Princess Con, only JP servers now, Sag. Arc Knight's still doing good. This game needs to die. Uh, yeah, it does. It really does. Okay, but good news is Enfield's coming out, and let me speak for everyone when I say we do not care. AFK Arena, still doing good on China, but AFK Journey's gonna be taking over. Blue Archive dropping $4.3 million. Jesus Christ. Uh, deserved. Tower God, New World, don't care. Fake Grand Order, still doing quite good. $1.9 million for a very low budget game to develop. Uh, Path to Nowhere. What's Path to Nowhere? Is that game good? Is Path to Nowhere good? I've never heard of that. That sounds interesting. It's like Ark Arknights 2.0. Path to Nowhere. Okay. Azure Lane. Nah, don't let me play that shit. AFK Arena, good. Uh, Black Clover Mobile, actually doing a lot better on global servers. Good, deserved. I think the game is actually very good. I think, I think if you're a fan of Black Clover, you will enjoy Black Clover Mobile. I genuinely believe that. And I really think you guys should give it a shot. I'm not sponsored to say that. I think the game is quite good. I think it's quite fun. I think it's very good. People are a fan of the, the series and turn based RPGs. Uh, Dragon Ball Legends, actually very fun. I've played a lot, or I've watched a lot of Dragon Ball Legends. My, my buddy Diddy Sauce covers it. Great guy. Great guy. Incredibly hard to be friends with, though, but I still respect him. Uh, yeah, great dude. Uh, Dragon Ball Legends, uh, good game. Fake Grand Order, still doing good. Seven Daily Sins, Grand Cross. This game needs to die. This game sucks balls. Love and Deep Space. This is the gay game, right? Wait, AFK Journey with the 2.2 mil. Actually crushing it. Actually crushing it in a very short amount of time. Yeah, I'll play it. Okay, wait, what is it called? Love and Deep Space. Okay, I'll play it. What is it? Love and Deep Space. Treasure Cruise, Battle Cats with 2.7 million. Oh my God. Dislight 2.7, Reverse 99, 99, 2.7. How? Jujutsu Kaisen falling off so hard, it's insane. Just like the story. Uh, they must have read the manga. Atelier Wrestler Ayana. What is Atelier Wrestler Rihanna? Anybody know what the f that shit is? Nah, no idea. Okay. okay. Idol Master, nah. Epic 7 still killing it. Pokemon Masters EX. Bro, that game was so ass. But the problem is you put Pokemon on anything and all these mid 30 year olds nostalgia explodes to the roof and they'll play Nintendo's excuse for a dog shit franchise. I hate Pokemon so much, bro. They've ruined this shit and Power World crushed it in one fell swoop. Nintendo needs to pull its head out of its ass and fix this franchise that we all love. But I'm not going to be this dog that plays every Nintendo game knowing that Nintendo just out here slopping the shit to me because they know I love the series that they made 20 years ago. Insane. Makes me so angry. Ark Knight's still doing pretty good. Similarly, since Grand Cross, still doing way better than it should. Fire Emblem Heroes, 4 mil. Light and Night, okay. One Piece Better has 6 mil. Memento Mori, 6 mil. Ensemble Star, 7 mil. What the f*** is that? Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, 7 mil. Blue Archive, 7 mil. Heaven Birthday, even if they're dropping, it doesn't matter. They're still doing great. Dokkan went from 33 mil to 8 mil, though. What the f***? Bro, what happened? They must have dropped some bullshit like Broly or like Vegito or some bullshit. 
A 25 mil drop off is actually insane. Anniversary is over. Good God, they were eating good for that anniversary, though. Uh, Hatsune Miku colorful stage, 9 mil. Nice. Maybe I should play that. I'm down to play Hatsune Miku game. Summoner's War at 9 mil. I love Summoner's War. I do think it's one of the best gacha games ever made. Really good PvE. Probably the best PvP in any gacha. Like, the guild battle system for Summoner's War is so peak, bro. I love that shit. The interactivity and guild system, insane. It's my, it's, yeah, my first gacha? Yeah, it's my first real gacha, too. It's so good. Dragon Ball Legends, damn, doing pretty good. Nikkei with the 14 mil, bro. I did a sponsor for Nikkei yesterday, and I was not allowed to be sexual. The moment I turned off my stream, bro, I jacked off so hard, it was insane. I found this video of Pravati doing a private dance for the commander, and then they f***ed afterwards. That shit was insane. Like, Nikkei just got my shit f***ed up. That's the reason why I'm afraid to play Nikkei, because I know 1 million percent it's amplifying my prediction times 1,000. How do you feel about Summer's War Chronicles? No idea. Bro, where is Cookie Run Kingdom? Where is Cookie Run? It's trash? You're trash. It's not a weave game, so it's not up here. Yo, where is Cookie Run? Puzzle and Dragons, no idea. Ark Knights, 19 mil. Maybe I should go back and try Ark Knights in 2024. You know what? We'll do it. I'll go back to Ark Knights. But this just Enfield looks so bad. Actually, nah, I'm not going to punish myself. Yeah, nah, I'm good. I don't feel like torturing myself today. Monster Strike, no idea. Genshin Impact. Ooh. Ooh. Genshin Impact dropped 11 million. Ooh. Eesh. Looking kind of grim. Looking kind of grim. Yeah, guys, who's going to... Who's going to tell him? Who's going to tell him? But Chiori came out, man. What, weren't people excited for Chiori? Hey, he's Genshin Impact looking kind of rough. Eesh. Who's going to tell him? Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Coming back to Honkai Star Rail, are we? Yeah, welcome back, cheater. Welcome back. Oh, well. <laughs> I need to relax. <laughs> I need to relax. I mean, are Latinos coming? Yeah, are Latinos going to pop off? Surely. Surely. Cookie Run Revenue? Really? Does it show? Come on, Cookie Run! Yo! Cookie Run Kingdom with the two mil! Yo! <laughs> Cookie Run! <laughs> Cookie Run Kingdom! Two million. Hey, boys, I'll keep it a buck. That's all me. 100K downloads, I'll keep it a buck. That is all me. Cookie run. Cookie run. Cookie run. Cookie run. Insane. You know what's crazy? Only made $2 million better than all these. Am I right, boys? Hey, $2 million off of cookies. $2 million off of cookies, bro. Insane. Insane. Nuclear revenue. Nuclear. Oh, boys, boys, boys. I pulled somebody last night. New unit. Ancient. And this unit is on my arena team. And for some reason, I'm climbing really fast right now. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll show that. We'll show that. Not even April Fool's. On my life, not April Fool's. Not April Fool's. No lying. Naruto Mobile, which I need to play. Because I heard this game was fucking gas. Naruto Mobile. I've heard such good things about this game. I want to try that shit too. What is love in deep space? Ooh, Genshin Impact dropping from 57 mil to 44 million. And Hongkai Star Rail! Doubling Genshin Impact's revenue! Oh my god! Bro, 150 mil! in a month compared to a measly 68 tripling tripling genshin impacts revenue oh man honkai star rail tripling the revenue of genshin impact say it with me boys deserved deserved and i'm not saying that because i hate genshin impact i'm not saying that because i hate the community i'm saying to all these motherfuckers who are saying eh, well eh, genshin doesn't need to change bitch the other game is making three times the amount of money as genshin so don't you think it'd be a good idea for them to pull their head out of their ass and not release patches in the state they did like with chiori insane hey 
Podcast RL, big W, 300% insane nuclear drama.